channel in this video we will be discussing about proctor compaction test its uses and how we can perform the compaction test on soil so basically in laboratory we can perform uh, proctor compaction test and modified proctor compaction test and this helps to determine the optimum moisture content of soil and maximum dry density of soil which are very important from the point of view of field applications related to soil mechanics when we go to the field and we have to compact the soil for uh, laying the foundation or some road then we have to maintain optimum moisture content so that uh, we can achieve maximum dry density of soil basically proctor compaction test and modified proctor compaction test there is very little difference only the specifications are different and specifications are different rest all the procedure remains the same first of all we will take 4.75 mm sieve or sieve, sieve number 4 and we will use this sieve for sieve analysis of soil this the particles or the soil that is passed through 4.75 mm is taken and usually a large amount like 2 kg or 3 kg we take because we have to perform many trials for obtaining the optimum moisture, moisture content curve. So first we will use the 4.75 mm sieve and then using the these tools we will mix the water content, mix the water in the soil and it these tools will also help us in uh, taking out the soil sample from mold and finally we will require a weighing balance to weigh the to weigh, weigh the the soil sample before we start the the testing first of all we will uh, weight or weigh the the way the empty mold this is the mold which is used in proctor compaction test which has a diameter internal diameter of around 10 centimeter and height of 12.73 centimeter empty mold is weight and let us say the weight is w1 then this mold is fixed on this base plate and the screws are tightened and this mold is filled in three layers with the soil compacting each layer 25 times and after the compaction we will put this collar on the top of this and during during compaction before we start the compaction we will uh, fix this collar onto the top of the uh, of this mold so that no soil is split outside after compacting we will weight the mold again say it weight w2 this is the metal rammer which is used in standard proctor test it is around 2.6 kg in weight it is used to to compact the soil each layer is compacted 25 times and it, the compaction should be done so that the whole surface of the soil is covered not only on one location that we are compacting again and again on the center but we have to follow the procedure such that all the portion of the soil is covered and compacted properly this this rod is lifted up and uh, it is around 310 mm it rises and then falls on the soil to compact it then we know that the bulk density of soil is total weight upon volume so weight we can determine from uh, the weight initial weight of mold before we have compacted the soil in it and it was empty that is w1 and after compaction 
with soil the weight is w2 the difference of these two weights will give us the weight of soil and we know the volume of cylinder is pi d square h by 4 so we have used that formula to determine the volume in this way from weight and volume we can determine the bulk density of soil and after determining the bulk density of soil we will take a representative sample from the compacted soil and put it in oven to determine the water content and once the water content is determined we can use the formula of tri density that is equal to gamma t is equal to gamma b upon 1 plus w and once we determine the dry density we can repeat this same experimental procedure by increasing or decreasing the moisture content in the soil or water content in the soil a number of trials are done until uh, initially if we are increasing the moisture content generally an increase in dry density is observed and this procedure or um, entire test is repeated until we get two consecutive readings where dry density has started decreasing so in this way when we plot dry density against the water content we will get somewhat curved in this shape where we have a maximum dry unit weight in the in the topmost portion or middle of the curve so initially we we will observe that from this curve that with water content dry density is increasing and further or increasing water content more the dry density start to decrease this curve is known as the optimum moisture content curve and the peak of this is the peak of this represent on x axis it represent the optimum moisture content and when we move towards the y axis it gives the maximum dry density so in this way we can determine both optimum moisture content and maximum dry density of soil using the proctor compaction test in the laboratory now we will discuss the difference between proctor compaction test and modified proctor compaction test as already discussed the procedure is same just we have difference in the um, specifications like the volume of mold is 944 cubic centimeter in case of uh, proctor compaction test while it is 1000 cm cube in case of in case of uh, 1000 cm cube in case of modified proctor compaction test similarly the number of layers in which the soil is compacted is 3 in case of proctor compaction test while in case of modified proctor compaction test the number of layers are 5 similarly height of fall of grammar is around 450 mm in proctor modified proctor compaction test as compared to uh, 310 mm in proctor compaction test and the weight of the rammer is uh, 2.6 kg in case of proctor compaction test and 4.9 kg in case of uh, modified proctor compaction test overall we can see that uh, the compactive effort that is the weight the height of fall and the number of layers overall the compactive effort has been increased in the case of modified proctor compaction test in comparison to the uh, proctor compaction test so better compaction is possible in case of modified proctor compaction test a detailed procedure for calculating the water content how we can calculate the water content of soil is available in another video the link for that has been provided in the description as well as in the i button you can visit the video and find the related content thank you for watching our video please subscribe to the channel for more detail related to geotechnical engineering Re link for reference books has been provided in the description you can visit them thank you